Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel. In this video lecture, I would like to guide you for how to calculate size of footing from the reference of IS Indian Standard Codes 456 and ACI American Concrete Institute 318. You will know how to calculate load on the column. According to that load, we will find the size of footing. So let's get started guys. First of all, determine the total load on each column. What is the total load? We have two types of load, main loads. One is a dead load plus live load. What is the dead load? Dead load is the name of, or you can say self weight is called dead load. Okay, self weight, it means the self weight of the column. Plus live load on which we have the pupil and furniture weight on the top of the column because the uh, column we are using inside the residential building or commercial building because we will find the size of footing from that. So calculate the required area of footing. So after this calculation, dead load and live load, we will find the load on each column. Then we will calculate the required area of the footing according to this load. So now the required area of the footing can be calculated using this formula. What is the formula? AP and allowable okay bearing capacity so now what is a where a is area of the footing how we can find area of the footing so next the area should be in millimeter or uh, in meter square or in centimeter square now what is p the p guys you can see load from the column as you know guys the dead load and live load so p is the load from the column in kilonewton next guys you can see bearing capacity q allowable which is allowable soil bearing capacity which is in kilonewton per meter square so now we will find the choose the size of footing so the size of the footing uh, for example we are finding for the isolated footing square or rectangular shape for isolated footing next for example let's say you have the following data so in the following data, the load from the column which is p where we have 100 kilonewton maybe you have uh, one, uh, 150 kilonewton, maybe you have the 50 kilonewton because uh, we will calculate dead load plus live load. Okay, so that is suppose we have 100 kilonewton. Now, bearing capacity of the soil is 150 kilonewton. This is one third of this one. Okay, the bearing capacity is a maximum compared to the load on the column. So, which is 10, 100 kilonewton, you can calculate from there and we check the bearing capacity. Suppose the bearing capacity of the soil is 150 kilonewton per meter square. So now using this formula to find area of the footing, the formula I have already discussed here, where the data you can see. So A is equal P and bearing capacity. So area, we will find the area. From that area, we will find the size of the footing. If that is a rectangular footing or square footing. So now guys, you can see clearly, we have the load on the column 100 kilonewton and the bearing capacity of the soil is 150 kilonewton per meter square. When you do its calculation, you will find 0 0.67 meter square. This is the required area of the column on which we have the applied load, which is 100 kilonewton. So now, if you choose the square footing, so the side length would be side length, where A we found here, guys, you can see the A is 0 0.67 meter square. So therefore, guys, you can see A should be under root, okay? So you will get the value 0 0.82 meter. So therefore, guys, approximately, the size of the footing is 0 0.82 by 0 0.82 meter so guys you can see this is the footing and this is one side this is the other side guys okay so inside this guys you can see this is a column so guys this is a short video but very important for you people to know how to calculate size of footing especially if you have the bearing capacity of the soil and also you know about the load on the column thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye